watching the magical team of Jerry and Gene about to perform a different kind of sleight of hand. Friends, we attack the drab behind this rich red velvet. The magic man means 67 Coronet attacks the drab. Abracadabra, Coronet Wham 67 Fairlane and the Mercury Intermediate Size Cars. He means dollar for dollar Coronet offered lots more. I mean Abracadabra Presto. Now you see him, now you don't. Now you see him, 67 Coronet Pow over Ford Fairlane and Mercury. Join the Dodge Rebellion. Coronet pows them with this great new Coronet 500. Pows them with its 67 action car lineup. 25 models in all. The facts back Coronet's pow. They prove Coronet's runaway superiority over its competitors. So abracadabra presto. <laughs> this is what Coronet has got. What Fairlane and Mercury have not. Examine the facts. Take that first important look. Right off, you know what separates Coronet from the Fairlane and Mercury crowd. Like a man from the boys. For 67, Coronet goes freshly styled, emphasizes proven popular features. Fairlane sports a minor facelift. Is otherwise the same. As for the Mercury cars, call them what you will. Comet 202, Capri, Caliente, Cyclone. They're the same as last year's Mercury Comet. With the same general appearance to boot. Coronet's POW stands for powerful advantages. Over Fairlane, half a foot longer. Mercury equals Coronet's length, but Coronet is wider than Mercury. Wider than Fairlane, too. Better than an inch and a half wider in hardtop style. Powerful Coronet advantages continue in practically all important dimensions. Like, for instance, longer wheelbase. Coronet, 117 inches. Cyclone and Fairlane, each 116 inches. Plus more rear headroom for Coronet. Also more front and rear hip room. Lots more usable cubic feet of luggage capacity for Coronet. Greater luggage convenience, too. That's because Coronet stores its spare tire out of the way under this removable floor plate, while Fairlane and Mercury spares stick up in the trunk proper. Talk style, and you're talking personal preference and taste. Which is why we dig Coronet's tasteful style over the competition's warmed-over styles. For example... Dig Coronet's distinctive, bolder front. It's more solid-looking and stronger, too, with its new bumper deeper section than those of Cyclone and Fairlane. Coronet's bolder front impresses as wide, without appearing square. Unlike Fairlane's two-square look. Also, unlike Mercury's models, which affect the same two-square look. Now dig Coronet down the side. Its profile line registers rakish and low. More rakish and low to the eye than either Mercury or Fairlane, even as the car's heights stay approximately the same. Dig Coronet's smarter rear style, too. There's designer's magic to the new rear end design, whereas overall, Fairlane's rear is plainer, practically stark, and Cyclone's is not much better. Look here, too, under the hood for more Coronet POW. The power to spare kind. The standard 225 Slant 6 delivers 145 horses to 120 for Fairlane and Mercury 6s. The standard V8 is comparable, 180 horses to their 200. As an extra exclusive, on Coronet 6s with automatic transmission, a new part throttle kickdown, added to full throttle, downshift the transmission without flooring the accelerator pedal. Their lanes and Mercury 6s lack this important extra. And there's power to spare all the way to Coronet's top option 426 Hemi, leading with the professionals as the best engineered V8 in the business. Coronet also goes smarter, safer, more luxurious and expensive looking inside. Coronet's new seats are extra deep for comfort. There's also plush deep carpeting underfoot. To make you feel expensive. There's the extra convenience of vent controls at either side of Coronet's steering column. Making them easy for the driver to reach. It's not as convenient in Fairlane or Mercury because their vent controls are at either end of the instrument panel and the driver has to stretch to reach the passenger side vent control. Like fuller, unobstructed driver vision, you get it with Coronet. That's because Coronet pows them with lots more glass area, nearly 300 square inches more per car. Providing extra vision for added safety. Speaking of safety, Coronet's standard new and continuing safety features are designed to fully satisfy every safety-conscious driver. Mercury and Fairlane can't make this statement. Here's why. Next to safety belts, the most important single 67 car item for safety is the impact-absorbing steering column integrated with the impact-absorbing steering wheel. 
Coronet features this integrated system. Fairlane and Mercury do not. Each has the impact-absorbing steering wheel only, won't have the impact-absorbing steering column until later in the year. Here's another Coronet advantage. This safety action inside door release handle can't open if you hit it accidentally. Fairlane and Mercury don't have this feature. For added safety, there's Coronet's wider brake pedal. Need wider so that the foot won't slip off during braking. Also wider for convenient left foot braking. You're just not gonna like Mercury's or Fairlane's smaller pedal, especially if you happen to be a left foot breaker. Also important to safety is Coronet V8's far greater effective brake lining area. 195.2 square inches to 126 for Mercury and Fairlane. Name the POW, Coronet has got it. Name the price that's right, Coronet has that too. Because Coronet's price stays right down there in between the prices of Mercury and Fairlane. Take the Coronet 500's price against that of Mercury Cyclone. In two-door hardtop with V8 engine, the 500's base price is $27.73 to $27.36.50 for the Cyclone. However, the 500 offers the console as standard in its price, the Cyclone does not, which means you pay $46.65 extra for a Mercury Cyclone console. So, to make the cars even, you've got to add the Cyclone's console cost to its price to arrive at the true total prices of the two cars. As you can see, Coronet prices 10 15 under. As you can also see, in convertible styles, Coronet increases its price lead to 30 43 under. Now compare Coronet 500's price with Fairlane 500 XL, again with equipment equal. For two-door hardtop with V8 engine, for example, Coronet's total price of $27.73 figures to cost the discriminating buyer approximately a dollar a month more than Fairlane 500 XL to normal trade-in time for a better Coronet car. Stand them nose to nose, and here's how the lineups read. Pound against pound. Pow against no pow. Coronet, 25 models to choose from against Mercury's 20, Fairlane's 24. Coronet Deluxe, two and four door sedan, two seat wagon, V8s and sixes, take on those of Fairlane and the Mercury Capri. Coronet two seat wagon, all new V8 and six, pows them a little extra. Coronet 440 over powers Fairlane 500 and Mercury Caliente with two door hardtop, four door sedan, convertible, two seat wagon, V8s and sixes, plus with its V8 three-seat wagon. Coronet 500 triple threats Fairlane 500 XL and the Cyclone with two-door hardtop, convertible, and four-door sedan. Its four-door sedan proves a powerful extra because Fairlane 500 XL and Cyclone don't even have one. And for Coronet's power ace in the hole, there's Coronet RT convertible and two-door hardtop, all new. Sports car, great. Its standard 375 horsepower engine overpowers Cyclone GT's 320 and Fairlane GT's 200 horsepower. Well, Mr. Magic Man, you brought us here and proved the power of the 67 Coronet. Now, make with the powerful magic that takes us back. Okay. Abracadabra, presto. We're back where we started. Back where, behind this rich red velvet, 67 Coronet attacks the draft. Attacks the way we see them. 67 Coronet. Pow! Over the intermediate Mercury and Fairlane.